And on today's episode of Amanda Felix East. Nowadays with the high inflation prices, we decided we need to do another Cheap Eats episode. So we'll be featuring a local plate lunch spot that offers up hefty portion sizes for an awesome price. And make sure you guys stay tuned for the dessert segment as well. It's going to be awesome. This place is literally a dream. So let's get into today's video. Let's go. What's going on Foodie Ohana? Welcome back to the channel. And for today's episode, we're taking you guys along with us to explore a play lunch spot that we haven't gone to before. And they've been around for quite some time. And guys, heads up, it is gonna be a Cheap Eats video. We have not done one of these in a really long time. And with the rising prices of inflation, we decided it's time for a new Cheap Eats video. And guys, stay tuned because we're featuring awesome Cheap Eats, but not only that, hefty plate lunches and we decided on which dessert place we're going to already and let's just say it's gonna be a new and interesting spot so make sure you guys stay tuned we're driving there right now as you guys can tell with the shaky shakiness but anyway <laughs> heading there now and we'll see you when we get there Got the goods. Oh my God, this thing is so freaking heavy. Oh my God. Holy cow. Today we went to One Plus One Drive-In here in Mo'ili'ili. And honestly, we've drove past it so many times, but we've never been there which is kind of crazy because why haven't we? And adding further salt to the wound, they've been around for 18 years. Where have we been? Not here, apparently. And they have one of the biggest katsu plates and one of the cheapest prices here on the island. So we're super excited to be trying them out. They're similar to like El Anel where they have like local food and Chinese food. It's more like a yeah. Chinese local takeout, mm -hmm. but they also do catering as well. So for your next party idea, and another thing too, guys, is their parking lot was full. Like people were going in and out. They're doing phone orders. There was a line out the door. So oddly, why haven't we been here? Well, we each got our plates. We each customized our plates. So for today's episode, we want you guys to leave a comment down below. Which plate would you rather have? We each ordered our own two choice combo plate. As you can tell by the foreshadowing now, I probably got something along the lines of chicken katsu. So being as we are first timers here at One Plus One Drive-In, I decided to go with the safer route. I like to play it safe, secure my victory. I got a mixed plate, good old faithful chicken katsu hamburger steak on a bed of their signature teriyaki chicken fried rice. Does that not sound amazing or what? Mm. Surefire winner, crowd pleaser, get the Felix Vogue plate. We're about to try it. That hamburger steak smells so smoky and grilled and oh, it smells so good, guys. But I want to introduce my plate. On Yelp, there was a lot of reviews about this thing that I got. So I got the lemon chicken with the garlic fish filet on top of bed of their original fried noodles instead of white rice. Wait, there's no mac salad. It's house for Oh! Right? There isn't. I didn't know the two choice didn't come with it. They have it on the menu, side order mac. Wow. I just realized. Does mine? No. Oh, yeah. We failed miserably, guys. We, so I should have asked her. Yeah. So I guess the regular plate lunches come with mac salad, but if you're ordering a special custom two choice combo plate, it's not going to come. There's no room. There's no real estate left in here, guys. These things are like five pounds each. No joke. They're really heavy. But I was laughing hysterically earlier or trying not to because you keep saying Baja. What is it? It's Basa. Oh, it's Basa? It's Basa fish filet. Oh, for some reason, I, was, I thought it said Baja on the menu. Bro, this ain't Mexican cuisine. <laughs> Baja Blast. Just kidding. 
That sounds pretty good too. Mm -hmm. Well, I will say, I think mine is the sure winner here today. All right, we'll do my local classic plate first. This is probably one of the most iconic local combinations, chicken katsu hamburger steak. I kind of wanted to try their fried rice first because oh. it's their signature fried rice. Ooh, the rice looks so succulent and moist. Like it's been stir fried in the wok with that terry sauce. I did get hamburger steak, so there's sauce all over. I'm going to try the rice without any sauce. And as we mentioned before, local fried rice is a bit different from your typical Chinese fried rice. It's similar to Japanese fried rice, a little more on the moist side, usually more saucy than like a Chinese fried rice. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Winners for sure. Not too sweet. Can taste the individual ingredients in here. The terry chicken is very nice. Not dried out at all. Mmm. I like the hints of the terry chicken. Lots of umami. I taste oyster sauce. The oh. kamaboko does give it like a nice fish ingredient in there to spice it up, make it a little different. I can just pound a whole plate of this fried rice. Mm -hmm. Wow. The fried rice is very nostalgic tasting. It does kind of taste like the one that my dad used to make. Now let's try their katsu. Guys, when it comes to chicken katsu, don't be shy with the sauce now. Yeah. Oh, there's another layer of katsu under that. I thought it was only going to be one layer. Cheers. Mmm. Woo! Mmm. Mmm. Man, that's good. A bit on the oily side though, but oh my goodness, that is freshly fried for sure. Mm, nice thin crispy layer of panko, nice moist chicken. It is a little bit oily, but come on guys, you're ordering this, you're planning on bulking. You're not eating this to get slim. The sauce does taste a little generic, but gets the job done. I was gonna say I like the sauce because it's like not too strong. Mm. It's more on the lighter side. It's a little runnier than a typical chicken katsu sauce. It coats the katsu so well. Oh, that's flavorful. I don't want to talk anymore. I just want to keep eating. Oh man, I just tasted some of the gravy that was on the rice. You're gonna like this hamburger steak. Next up, we got hamburger steak. Patty's a little on the thinner side, which is a little sad, but we shall see. We don't judge. But that's the thing, Furio Ohana. The patty looks dry. You gotta soak it up in that hamburger steak sauce, the gravy, that's liquid gold. And I wanted to try the hamburger steak too, but Felix ordered it before I could. So let's see. Beat her to it. Cheers. Oh yeah. Beefy, beefy gravy. I will um, say the hamburger patty is on the drier side, but that gravy makes up for it. I do really like the gravy. Not a too big fan of the hamburger steak. It's okay. It's not the best one I've had. Oh man, I'm going back into the katsu. That katsu was for real winners. Also, I do want to say the gravy and this terry fried rice, terry chicken fried rice. Oh my God. That is winners, you guys. Oh my God. Just get the fried rice and gravy all over. I just love this balance of sweetness from the katsu sauce, the crispiness from this batter, umami from the fried rice, beefiness from the gravy. Come on, this is a for sure definite combo plate you gotta get. This is gonna kanak attack us like instantly. I can already tell. The fact that it's so Onolicious and scrumptious. I just want to eat the whole thing. I can't stop eating it. Yeah, honestly, the terry chicken fried rice is so addicting, especially with the gravy. If you're a gravy person like me, you are gonna love this combo. I'm not joking. Mm. You don't even need the hamburger patty, just no. the gravy straight up. Oh my goodness. Let's, let's move on to your plate before you start finishing mine. So next up, we're moving on to my plate. And my plate is equally as hefty as Felix's plate. And we'll even see though- about that. Oh. oh. Oh, oh, so heavy. And even though there's no fried rice, it's fried noodles, it's still pretty hefty. And Amanda once said, noodles over rice. Yes. We shall see. Oh, and there's even like a little lemon wedge. Ooh, ooh, the noodles look thin, nicely stir fried in the wok, very nicely coated. You can kind of tell right off the bat with noodles if it's nicely seasoned or not, because you're going to see some parts that aren't coated in the sauce. But this, it's pretty evenly coated. You can tell by the noodles. Also, it comes with a tartar sauce. For the fish. I don't think you fish. need it though, because this is garlic, right? Well, well, we'll I'll, see. I'll, I'm busting it out, you yeah. know what I mean? And then we Show got them out the- there. Yeah. And then we got the lemon sauce, lemon chicken sauce. And fun fact, Felix actually turned me on to lemon chicken. If you guys remember Regal Diner, that was the best place to get it back in the day. What should we do first, the noodle? Uh, we gotta try the noodles, Yeah, right? we gotta try the noodles first. There's even terry chicken in the noodles too. Oh my goodness, okay, let's try it out. Ooh, I gotta get a nice pull. Ooh. Oh gosh, cheers. Mmm. Mmm, wow. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm 
what does it for me is the caramelized onions in here. Mm -hmm. It has a nice sweetness to it. The noodles, they look really, really oily, but they're not as oily as I expected. And I also appreciate that it's al dente. Mm -hmm. It's not mushy noodles. Sometimes you go to like Panda Express or something, you tell them, oh yeah, I like the fried noodle. When you eat it at home, it's all mushy. This is al dente. Nice mouthfeel from the individual noodles. Would you say this is like a chow fun? No, chow. Chow mein. Chow mein? Chow mein, yeah. Yeah, I love that it's so umami flavor. Lots of uh, vegetables in here as well, like the onion, some cabbage, green onion, carrots. It tastes like the similar seasoning they use for the fried rice. Mm -hmm. I think what makes it addicting is it's not salty. Mm -hmm. I can, we can just keep eating it. Okay, I'm, I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm indulging too much in the noodles, man. We gotta do the chicken. Man down in the sauce. Here we go, lemon chicken. Lemon chicken. Ooh! Ooh. Mm. That is lemony. That was a strong lemon sauce. It kind of has like an artificial lemon flavor though, no? Yeah, I think it's like one of those, you buy the lemon juice from the bottle and you pour it in to make the lemon sauce. If you guys like lemon chicken, this is not going to be something surprising. It tastes like lemon chicken. You guys aren't going to be surprised. I mean, the sauce was never like an authentic lemon, I don't know, like fancy lemon sauce. Lemon chicken, you're going to mm. expect the cheap artificial lemon flavor, but that's what makes it delicious. I don't know how to explain it. At least to me anyway. You're just thinking simple, like a lemon drop sauce. I'm it's, not gonna lie though, it goes really good with the chow mein. Yes, okay. it's made to go with the starch. I believe the starch is the star here at one plus one. To me, lemon chicken tastes like orange chicken, that same similar sweet sour sauce, but mm -hmm. if you like lemon more than orange, get the lemon chicken. I think because I'm a tangy kind of person, I love sour things. I love savory sour things, especially like with something like this, where it's like, you know, oily noodles, Chinese style. I really like the balance of flavors. Semi-sweet, salty, savory, and tartness as well. I will say though, I like the katsu better than their chicken morsels here. Yeah. It's a little on the drier side. The I agree. katsu was moist. Let's get into your basa fish. It's so nice and moist, flaky. Ooh, it is very flaky. No sauce, cheers. Mm. Oh, wow. Mm. Really garlicky. Oh, I like that. The hint of lemon. I just wish there was more. They give like three little fillets. I'm gonna try it with some tartar. I feel bad for eating it because there's only three pieces. I I'll let you enjoy your um, basa fish. Mmm. The tartar sauce gives it a nice creamy element. You can go either way, sauce or no sauce. For the bites that you want a little bit of creaminess, the sauce. It's a little bit tangy, creamy definitely, and it has like the relish or it has the chopped up pickles in there, so it has like a nice little crunch. I still think though you should reserve the tartar sauce for fried fish, whereas this is like nicely mm. cooked fish fillets. I feel like it deserves to be enjoyed with just a squeeze of a little Little squeeze of lemon, appreciate the garlic notes. That fish is done actually really well. Yeah, I really like the fish. I kind of regret getting the lemon chicken. But we wouldn't have known. Yeah, we wouldn't have known. If you're craving lemon chicken, I'd probably get it again. It's not terrible, guys. It's not terrible. It's just, we've had better lemon chicken elsewhere. But definitely come here for any of the noodles or the fried rice. Katsu was really good. The and fish. The fish. The mm -hmm. fish is good too. Yeah, guys, we're gonna continue polishing off our plates here because I don't think there's gonna be any left. Or there might be actually, because there's so much food. Yeah, this is a lot of food. How much was each plate? Oh yeah, because this is a cheap eats, it was $38 for these two hefty plates. Which nice. to be honest, like we can't finish this whole thing. We cannot, definitely not. This is a meal for three to four people. That's a steal guys, mm -hmm. especially in today's inflated world we live in. And I think their regular plates are anywhere from like 10 to $15. We did get combo plates and we like, you know, special custom, order. custom ordered it. So that's probably why it's a little more expensive, but plates that are 10 to $15 right now are on the pretty affordable side right now. I think my plate's a winner. If you had the fish, it would be a winner. And for the Fudio Hana out there that does not eat meat, they do have a lot of seafood options and you don't have to get like, you know, the fried rice or the fried noodles with meat in it. You can just get plain white rice. So that's a good one for you guys. Oh, did I say where it is? No, we didn't say, oh man, we're so noobs. How long have we been doing this? Well, I said it's in Mo'ili Ili, but it's right across the street from Kahai Kitchen and also Rico Rico's Chicken, where we did our Hidden Gems episode. If you haven't caught those videos, we'll have it linked up in the cards and down in the description, but it's right across the street from there, um, across Old Stadium Park in Mo'ili Ili, in this area, in town. So from Waikiki, about five, 10 minutes, not even. Ala Moana, five, 10 minutes, not even. So yeah, definitely check them out. If you guys wanna know more or wanna know their menu or prices, make sure you check the links down in the description. We'll have the links down there. That way you guys can check out their current pricings and 
any updates. Also, don't forget, before our dessert segment, leave a comment down below. Which plate would you prefer? And what is your ideal plate lunch for you locals? Mm -hmm. What is your perfect combo? And where is your perfect plate lunch? <laughs> Where and what is your perfect combo plate lunch? We're gonna take you guys to another dessert spot after this. And of course, it's gonna be a local spot, so stay tuned. Oh, eating Asian style. Yeah, I couldn't get comfortable on the bench, so this is me. <laughs> this is how I eat. If you guys out there think that this is being rude, this is just how a lot of people here eat, okay? We get comfortable when we eat. <laughs> If you guys are from here, you guys remember these from when we were playing as kids. I had no idea it was even like, there's a placard on there. So nostalgic. Foodie Ohana, we are heading to our next dessert spot or we're heading to our dessert location now. And it just so happens to be right across the street. So very easy foodie adventure you guys can reenact as well. Yep, it's right across the street, guys. It's a brand new store. So we're going to check it out for the first time. before our tasty local treats melt. Big <laughs> shout outs again to Aikue for hooking it up today. Him and his brother are big fans of the channel. Thank mm. you so much again. And if we haven't said it already, which we haven't, I know we haven't, we are at new soft serve. Not new as in a brand new upload, but new as in N-I-U, which just means coconut in Hawaiian. So I love this because it is all vegan. It's a soft serve parlor that sells non-dairy ice cream or soft serve. And what did you even get? You didn't even say. I'm sorry, I had yeah, to. Me too, me too. Today we got Sundays. I got a swirl of their orange mm. and vanilla flavor. So of course, orange dream or orange bang as you locals would call it. Mine is a coconut ube swirl with hot kulolo and macadamia nuts. My Sunday is called the Sunrise. It has strawberry lihimu syrup. Very simple. Adds a nice sweet and sour note to it. Do you guys see the kulolo in here? Very hard to see you guys. And what is kulolo you ask? It's this brown thing in here. So kulolo is pretty much like a taro dessert. It's made of taro, pounded taro and coconut milk and sugar. It's a very traditional Hawaiian dessert. Here, their take on a hot fudge sundae they did a hot kulolo sundae. And I love kulolo. If you guys know me, I love coconut. So this place is literally a dream. Mmm. You gotta try some of that Lee Hing syrup though. And if you wanna literally taste the dream, try this one, my orange dream concoction. I wish there was more of that Ooh. bad boy on there. Yeah, the Lee Hing syrup has a nice tang to it as well. But mine's is just straight up creamy dreams. Mm. Yours one tastes like literally a Hawaiian treat. If there was a national Hawaiian soft serve, it'd be that. It was really creamy. Very uh, reminiscent of uh, Halo Halo too. So try Amanda's one if you're into that ube coconut flavors. And try mine if you're into like orange dream and everything fruity. Very refreshing indeed. Especially after eating all those oily food earlier. And if you guys are looking for a new soft serve, they are available at farmer's markets. We love what they have. Um, mm -hmm. This is actually their storefront. So if you guys can't make it to a farmer's market, check out their storefront. It's right here in this parking lot. <laughs> right off Mo'ili'ili. Ili, Ili. Where, uh... where we did the Shingen restaurant. If you guys didn't see that video, we did film at a soba restaurant here. There's L&L here. There's Kozo Sushi, Aloha Vietnamese food. There's Golden Eagle. It's where the old Sweet Home Cafe used to be back in the day. We'll link everything in the description as usual. All of their toppings are made in-house as well. Oh, and they also have pints as well. So if you really like their ice cream or their soft serve, you can buy a pint of it. It looks like they rotate their flavors as well. So this week it was coconut, ube, orange, orange vanilla. vanilla. They also have shakes too. They can make soft serve shakes. Oh yeah. However, it, it, they do list their um, nut allergy warnings. Oh yes. And plant allergies. So plant-based soft serve if you guys are interested. And honestly, it doesn't even taste like plant-based. It doesn't taste weird or anything. It just tastes like a delicious treat. I do want to try one of their shakes one day though. We were wanting to get a shake, but we both ended up getting sundaes, so there's just no room for it today. Definitely we'll be back. It just looks so good. I mean, when you see them making the sundae or like the soft serve, you know, coming out and they do iconic signature swirl, you just gotta get the sundae. Yeah, I'm gonna drink it out of the cup. 
For me, I think what makes it is the Kulolo. I'd say today was a very successful foodie adventure. Mm -hmm. And what I like about new soft serve too is they try to be very environmental. You they, mean environmentally like, friendly? They try to be very environmental friendly. So like these spoons are recyclable, wooden spoons, these cups too as well. They try to limit how much utensils they give out. So they do charge if you want extra utensils. And I like it too that it's not too sweet. I don't feel as bad because we get easily upset stomachs. So what is it called? Lactose intolerant? Yes, we're lactose. <laughs> So this is perfect. Make sure you guys check the links down in the description below. We'll have all the links down there. If you guys want to see anything about the businesses that we visited today, feel free to check out the links and yeah. All right, Foodie Ohana, that about wraps up today's episode of cheap eats, hefty plate lunches, local style soft serves, you name it. Guys, this was such an amazing episode. It's honestly kind of one of my favorite episodes. Oh, I told you not to perch it up there. Really? Yeah, I really like today's Actually, episode. Actually, yeah, anyway. I was gonna say, I like, <laughs> I like today's episode too. It was simple, fun, with yeah. some awesome people. Anyway. So thank you guys so much for coming along. We hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we did. Enjoyed filming it. If you guys did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. And if you like our videos and you want to help us out, share our channel, let your friends and family know. You can find the best Ono Grinds on our channel, Amanda and Felix Eats. That would really help us out and we invite all food lovers Fudio Hana members to come and join us or Hawaii lovers yeah anyone that loves Hawaii also come join our Fudio Hana and yeah thanks again for joining us today I forgot to say hit that subscribe button if you're new here if this is your first time watching us or if you've watched some of our videos and you didn't know if you wanted to subscribe this is your sign to subscribe to our channel so hit that subscribe button down below anyways guys See you on the next one. All right, Furio Hana, until the next one, take it easy, <laughs> eat your hefty plate lunches, explore your inner foodie. And vegan Peace soft out. serve. Okay, bye. <laughs> oh, wait, don't forget whose plate lunch was better. Look at what's going on with my hair. It looks like I have a horrible Donald Trump toupee. Okay, maybe you should just <laughs> shave your head. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, God, that fly is huge. That it's thing was like, like the size of a penny. Yeah, that's huge. Anyway. Gosh. Did that come out of it or? No, it was just like attacking. So let's try mine first then I guess. That's what I said, but you're like. Yeah, do, do, do. yeah I know, but. Fresh, a nice flesh, a nice fish. Back into the katsu, cause that katsu was watsu. Whoa, what? Put lemon on your Baja. <laughs> Stop. Is the sun in my face too much? Mm -hmm. I've been talking like this the whole time. I don't know where to sit, back here? It comes and goes. Should I back it up a little bit? <laughs> it comes and goes. Oh man, go my shit, man. <laughs>